A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to uh, measure dimensions on the drawings using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And here is the here we have the example of a ship's anchor drawing, and uh, we will be using this example to display the tutorial or display the feature in the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So the the dimension measurement dimension is located over here. And if it is not visible on your screen, what you can do, you can go to the Tools tab and there is an option called Measure here. You can press it here once and then it will become visible. If you are not seeing, you can press from here itself. It will be visible there. So the first point of discussion is how to change the unit. So for that, what you can do, you can go to the Edit tab and you can go to the Preference and there is an option called Units and Guides and here you can change the units. So for me, I'm keeping millimeters. There is an option to change the, the, the layout grid setting, some kind of dimensions, which I'm keeping it as default and pressing it OK and moving ahead. So with this, we have set the unit as a millimeter and we are pressing OK and moving ahead. So the second point of discussion is that how to be take the measurement. So here you will see there are some of the dimensions are marked, like this is 488, some are marked, but some of the dimensions are not marked. So imagine we want to take the dimension from here to here. We want to make the dimension from here to here. So since it is not marked, we don't know. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, define the scale first. And here is again the problem is that the scale is not defined, so we have to define the scale also. So we are going to press this option, right click and change scale ratio and precision. So when we select this, you will see the option is 1 is to 1. And let's see what is the dimension at this scale. So you will see this is around 67.52 millimeter. So it measures 67.52, but actually it is 488. So there is just some kind of scale. And if you use your calculator, dividing 488 by 67.52, you will find the scale ratio as 7.2274. So here I'm going to put 7.2274. And moving ahead, now try to make the measurement once again. And you will see the dimensions are more or less aligned with the actual dimension. So once you have set the scale, you can take any dimensions with ease, provided that has that is also on the same scale. So here we can take whatever dimension we want. Now you might have noticed that when we are uh, moving our uh, mouse point, there is some kind of uh, markup. That's a snapping option here. And uh, that's our second point of discussion that how to be uh, change the snapping option. And you will see the snapping option type is located here. If you have selected this like intersection, it will snap at the intersection point. So if you imagine if you have disabled everything, you will not be able to snap it. So at this point of time, you can see that when I'm trying to take the dimensions, there's no snapping option available. So it is recommended to keep all the snapping types selected. Here is the snapping to path. Here is the snapping at end points. And here is snapping at the midpoints. And here is the intersection. So please keep it selected while you are taking the measurement. Third option we are going to talk is the turn ortho on and off. And what is the advantage of it? So in order to make it on and off, you have to press right click. And there is an option called turn ortho off. And when we make it off, you can take the dimension in in any direction. Like we can take the dimension like this, we can take the dimension like this in any direction. But when we make it ortho on, which I'm going to do it right now, you can take the dimension either in horizontal direction and vertical direction. So here is the horizontal option and here is the vertical option. And if you're trying to make any things like this, no, it won't measure in other than the horizontal and vertical direction. It will help you to take the dimension very precisely. Now we will talk about how to enable and disable measurement markup. And the advantage of this is sometimes 
if you want to only see the dimension you don't want to see a markup so here you will see a lot of markups and sometimes it looks a little ugly so suppose if you want to see only the dimension not the markup what you can do you can disable the measurement markup from here and now you can see if you want to see this says 199 91.7 mm but it will not be able to mark it so if any press escape it will go away suppose if you want to measure dimension here you will see dimension has 2.19 mm but you don't mark it similarly you can mark C many dimensions but you don't uh, leave any kind of markup here so if that is convenient you can uh, choose enable and disable measurement markup now we will talk about how to show and hide a ruler and for that what you can do you can uh, select this option first then right click and show rulers which is not at this point of time visible here so when we enable show rulers you will see a ruler over here sometimes it is uh, easy to have a quick overview that what is the size of the drawing but if you don't feel convenient you can disable it also like it was done in the past what you can do you can go and uh, press hide rulers and it will go away now we will talk about how to export measurement markups to Excel and uh, what you can do you can right click here and uh, option is export measurement markup to Excel and it will help you to save those dimensions in any of the designated folder so I have saved it here and now I am going to open it and you can see those di dimensions are shown over here but here is the, not easy to identify which dimension is talking about but if you put a label over there it would be easy to identify which dimension is talking about so with this we have came to end of the discussion and hope it has given you an idea about how to take measurement of any dimensions using Adobe Acrobat 4DC